what's going on YouTube family welcome back today looks a little different doesn't it check out the YouTube studio for today not bad hiker trash YouTube studio is it I'm down in for Walton Beach, Florida, visiting my dad for a little bit, and I figured while I was down here, I'd stop by the beach and catch a little sunrise, which did not happen, but um, still want to go ahead and see if I can make a video using the GoPro today and external mic, so we'll see if the audio and everything turns out okay. Anyway, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is David, and on this channel, I talk about uh, all things related to backpacking and hiking and things like that. So. If you find any value in this channel, which I hope you do, consider hitting like and subscribe. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. We'll put two minutes on the clock. All right, today we're going to talk about tents. I used two different tents on the Appalachian Trail this year. Um, I used the z Pax Duplex tent, which is a two-person tent. I call it a one-person palace. Um, this thing has got plenty of room for all of my gear, plus me, to spread out. And it's fantastic on those rainy days when you're kind of stuck in the confines of your tent. Um, takes eight tent stakes to set up, two trekking poles to set up, or you can get the carbon fiber options for the tent poles. Um, what I love most about this tent is it's got two sets of vestibule doors that you can open all the way up on those hot summer days and you can just get this great breeze blowing through the tent. That's a fantastic thing and I, that, about this tent that I just absolutely love. Now the other tent that I used was the Plex Solo Tent. Um, this one required tent, tent, tent stakes to set up um, and one trekking pole to set up. And this only weighs 13 ounces and some change. So if you're going ultra light and you want to go fast, you're spending less time in your tent at night, this might be a really good option for you to check out. Um, I switched to this tent when I was switched over to my um, summer kit where I swapped out my quilt for a lighter quilt. And I also swapped out to this lighter tent. So this, was, this enabled me to drop my base weight way down and um, fantastic option and absolutely loved it. So here's a shot of the both of these tents side by side. Um, there's no wrong answer. Both of these are fantastic products. I think the z packs hit it out of the ballpark on both of these. Um, for, you know, from my experience, um, both of these tents, uh, as far as quality and construction, are fantastic. As with um, all ultralight gear, you kind of, you know, got to be mindful of taking care of it and you know how uh, rough you are on it but um, both of these tents took care of me very well um, I did get a couple of leaks in the roof not sure how that happened but it comes with a Dyne Dyneema patch kit which was easily taken care of in the field and it had no issues at all all right that's two minutes if you have any questions for me or anything just leave them in the comments below appreciate you stopping by and I will catch you on the next one